Hi there, everybody. Welcome to the match. Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith sitting alongside me. Thank you, Martin. Looking forward to this. And it's Chelsea today against Blackpool. Blackpool, a good side they look at the moment. They won away their last game against Swansea City. Yeah, impressive in that 3-1 win, but uh, might have to settle for a draw here. Number 24, Danilo Parada. Number 51, Well, all the attention on the uh, away side here because what a shock they brought to everybody, the right kind of shock. They've been absolutely at their full potential. I don't know if they can get any better than this, whether they can sustain it. Well, what a story. It's been gate crashing, the big boys' party here. Doesn't happen often these days, and to be top now, well, can they keep it going? Two changes for Chelsea today. Thibaut Courtois starts in goal. Kurt Zuma starts with Socrates Papastatopoulos in central defence. Nemanja Matic plays alongside Ross Barkley in the middle of the park. And leading the attack, Michi Batshuayi. This is the Blackpool team for this match. Well, we put this up as 4-4-2, but as you can see, three conventional midfield players and one just in front behind the main two attackers. A very good interception. In with a chance. for what lies ahead. And what a finish from him outside the box. He couldn't have hit that much harder to find the left side. A good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. that deserved a booking. He didn't want to stop the play at the time and he's quite entitled. There's some potential in this move. That's a C is surely the equaliser. Oh what a goal! And what a game we're getting here. It's level again. Two teams on top form and really taking their chances. Well it is really game on in this match with this equaliser. The goal wherever you look at it it was very well taken. <laughs> Nicely played through ball. Hazard! Going for goal! In the short time that remains. This could be it. In with the chance. which is where they really should be. Far, far the better side throughout the game. Well, we were about to describe the final moments here as a draw, but we've got a winner now, a fantastic late, late goal. Well, you have to think that it is a winner as well, Martin. Very little time now for the opposition to come back. Could have been. The final whistle has gone, and Chelsea have the victory here. Well, given their status in the match, Alan, clearly underdogs, well, they'll be pretty happy with the way they played. I think so, yeah, they can take a lot from this performance moving forward, might not have got the result they wanted, but they did well. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. Got himself a goal and uh, put in... Been a lot of excitement already in the Euro League. We can expect more to come. Here we are now at the quarter-final stage. Yeah, looking forward to this one because we've got two attractive attacking teams and uh, we'd expect that to be the case out here. Plenty at stake. Blackpool in action today. They face Benfica. Blackpool, they're a good side, you know, but they didn't look it 
in that away defeat in their last game when they were beaten against Chelsea. Yeah, not the best performance in, in losing 2-1. And uh, you look at them, I can't see too much of an improvement. I think they're going to lose again. Quick look at a couple of the key players that we feel might uh, surface in this game. Well, it doesn't always turn out that way, but you would earmark this pair as... There's two danger men in this match, two lads that could change the course of the, the game. This is the Blackpool team for this match. The player just behind the front two is going to have a lot of influence if they can get the ball to him. Yeah, it's the classic number 10 role, really, isn't it? And uh, if he can get on the ball and find some space, more than capable of slipping in passes to those two strikers. This is the team Benfica are going to field today. Alan, he's going to defend with six, isn't he? He's going to have those two holding midfield players and let the, the other four go and attack when they can. Yeah, I mean, the two lads in the middle, the two midfield. And again, there goes the cross. And it's a headed effort at goal. Well, he's put it away brilliantly. That kind of chance has come to him so early in the game. But I have to say, he reacted perfectly. Really sharp right from the off. And they've taken the lead here. He is high and mighty with that goal. He was literally head and shoulders above everybody else there. And it's a shot. Benfica, they're breaking forward. And he's in there with a the header. Back. Official, that's for this. The break is definitely on. Going for goal! And yes, a goal! And they're level. Fantastic from the neutral point of view that the game is level again. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Here are Benfica on the attack. The shot's on. Keeping the ball. He's had a go here. It's in for them. Wow, that has come as a surprise, particularly to the opposition. They were dominating the match. But the team have made good use of a, a stray ball in midfield. They've taken it on. Good play, good from their point of view. Not so good for the opposition. Well, they were caught out here by this quick counter-attack against the run of play. Yeah, I mean, they had to uh, stick together there and come under a lot of pressure, but with the pace in the team, that was always likely. At the final score, 2-1 here. From their point of view, the first leg has been a good one. It's over now, and they are now set up for that second leg, which they hope will lead them to the semi-finals. Yeah, thoroughly professional. All about concentration now in the second leg. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. Oh, lots of energy, lots of quality, and a good goal. Along